Hello, welcome back, and happy Halloween. Is it Merry, ha happy, Merry Halloween? Happy Halloween, I don't know. I'm Australian. It is currently mid-July. I've just got out of a lockdown, so my facial hair looks awful. But you know, here we are talking about Halloween, uh, because late last year, I, for some reason, said this. Because I'm, I'm not going to, like, blow up a pumpkin or, like, I don't know, extract calcium from bones actually that's let's let's flag that one remind me of that in um eight months time <laughs> i have no idea why i said this i don't know why it's in the video but i do know that i'm not a quitter well i might be a quitter if people weren't incessantly messaging me about this particular project like i said to do so you're holding me accountable i'm not going to say this is your fault but um you're definitely holding me accountable here. <laughs> I have quite a few questions about this project, even though I'm the one that came up with it. I, I, I'm wondering how this will work. Usually my projects are vegan. I don't usually tend to use animal products in the videos. You know, I don't do biology. I posted about this on Twitter and a lot of people seem to think that um, I was getting the bones from myself. Which I want to say very early in this video, I, I'm not using my own bones for this project. <laughs> Look, I might like this channel, but I'm not chopping my fingers off, alright? It's not... <laughs> and a lot of people seem to think that I live somewhere where I can just go and like... Sh** a kangaroo in the head, and then just take its bones. Uh, and while that may be partly true... It's not something I want to do. So, <laughs> we're going to get the bones somewhere from this project. But even once we get the bones... Like, is bones even full of calcium? I know that's what you say, but is it just... Like, how much calcium is in bones? How am I even going to get it out of the bones? Do I have to grind up bones? What am I doing for this project? Well, I have a lot of questions, but you know what? We're just going to fucking stumble and suffer our way through this project because, once again, I'm not a quitter. People are messaging me every day about this. Um, <laughs> so, I'm not, I'm not quitting. We're going to extract some calcium from bones. Okay, so here's my food with uh, a lot of bone in it. They're the little chicken wings. I feel like they've got a high ratio of bone to like food. Should get quite a reasonable amount of bone out of this. I don't know, this is a kilo. I mean, I'm sure people will comment like, oh, obviously there's a different kind of food that has a higher ratio of bones in it, but Stuff it. <laughs> these are delicious, whatever. I'll cook these and <laughs> save the bones for my fucking chemistry project. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm a cooking channel now. Look at me go. I love cooking. Oh yeah, no worries, just gotta get my bag of bones out of the glove box. Delicious little snack for the road. Mmm, so good. Okay, we started at a kilo of chicken wings, so we're down to what, like 220 grams of bones. We can obviously see our precious bones are covered in disgusting low calcium flesh, so we want to uh, remove all that and just be left with our beautiful bones. I could do it chemically, maybe, but I'm worried about uh, any uh, harsh methods such as piranha um, that would remove the flesh might impact the bone. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck it in a fire. Nothing too hot so we won't like sinter any of the uh, the bones or do anything weird to the phosphate or the, the you know the calcium phosphate stuff in the bones. It should uh, be enough to burn off the meat. Damn chicken gas. All right, here's our bones. Um, they're definitely dry and they feel light, but they've got a lot of charcoal still on them. The burnt flesh type thing. I might just 
Oh, I'll tip these out and just uh, brush off all the charcoal. See how much we got. Oh, they're brittle too. That's good. We want that, right? I think. Alright, I'm no forensic expert, but I feel like I got most of the bone out of that. Um, what's this? this? Nah, that looks like bone. I'm really just going off shape more than anything. This is a crime scene. <sighs> Little bits of bone all throughout, but... Alright, nah, I'm done here. I'm done here. This is a crime scene. Fifty grams? Oh man. I guess, time to grind. That is frighteningly easy. <laughs> ah, that should not be enjoyable. Oh, honestly, it's a sin to enjoy this. <laughs> Alright, I could probably convince myself that this was just normal chemicals at this point. The next step is really dissolving the calcium, getting it into solution. And we're going to precipitate out later, but the precipitation step will select for the calcium, but for now we just want to get everything into solution. I have a feeling any acid should do the trick. The main minerals in the bones, like the apatite, hydroxyapatite, they're, they're sort of calcium phosphates, and they should dissolve, uh, maybe slowly, but they should dissolve into uh, concentrated acidic solutions. I don't think a lot of the carbon will dissolve. Yeah, hopefully a lot of the material does dissolve and then we can potentially just filter off the carbon if a lot of that doesn't dissolve and, and all our calcium phosphate uh, goes into solution so we get the calcium ions uh, when I've got a bit more bench space to work with. <laughs> just working on three projects at once. Usually you would think would make me three times as efficient, but it's I think it's making me half as efficient. <laughs> because I'm constantly thinking about the wrong project at the wrong time. It's had about eight hours of reflux over uh, last weekend and this weekend, so I reckon it's done. I mean, it's never going to form a clear solution because we've got no way of dissolving that carbon, you know, just the pure carbon into this reaction mixture. Something oxidizing like, say, a piranha solution or maybe even a nitric acid might turn all of that carbon into carbon dioxide and clear up, but we haven't done that, so um, yeah. Hopefully now we've got some calcium in solution, so that'll be calcium chloride, uh, and um, everything else that's solid in there is just carbon and char and everything like that. But if we filter off that carbon, then the calcium ions will still be in solution, uh, along with a lot of other ions like sodium and, and potassium ions, you know, potassium chloride, sodium chloride will be in there as well. But as long as that calcium ion is in the solution, we can set about uh, precipitating it out in the next step. But um, we just gotta make sure that calcium has actually dissolved. Hopefully it's worked, I don't, I have no way of at this point. It's been smelling pretty bad. I'm not sure if that's just the hydrochloric or uh, everything else in solution coming off, you know, chicken gas, etc. But uh, it has not been smelling good. It's not a huge smell, but you can definitely tell when it's running. It's disgusting. God damn. Fuck. All right. All good. <laughs> Alright, the next step is to uh, neutralize this and precipitate out the calcium, but there's a lot of acid in there. I feel like if we 
just start dumping in sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydroxide. We'll have to add a lot and then there'll be a lot of sodium ions in solution which which might cause problems in you know separating out the calcium if we got just just a heap of sodium in there so i'm just going to boil it for a little bit it'll remove some of the water and hopefully a lot of the hcl vapors and also um boiling it for a little while might remove this sort of smell it's got it just smells a bit whack it's just this residual sort of whack sense about it which um it's probably um arising from the fact that it um was once part of a chicken I also might um, add some peroxide in there just to see if that will get rid of the carbon as well or oxidize the carbon to carbon dioxide in the acidic solution. It's probably not necessary, but just to make it look a little cleaner, you know, I've got so much 50% peroxide just lying around, so I've just got to use it anyway. So just add in a couple of drops of that, see if it starts to uh, clear up the solution or not while it's boiling along there, removing some of the water and the, and the acid. So sure. This is absolutely the highest grade of tar I potentially have ever produced. It's all sticky when I get it out of solution, and then here it's just like a black ball of bits of red in it. It's amazing that this has come from, <laughs> this is precipitated out of a solution three minutes ago. Honestly, I'm, I'm a tar connoisseur, and this is, this is my finest work. This is, this is the pinnacle. Being a little strange, um, I'm dumping in, just, well, not dumping in, I'm adding slowly in some peroxide, uh, which seems to lighten the solution and make a whole lot of tar precipitate out, um, which I'm collecting and throwing away, obviously. And it keeps going black afterwards. So what I'm worried about is I'm worried about there's so much organic stuff that's dissolved. And it's fine as long as it stays dissolved, but I'm worried that when I start to neutralize the solution to precipitate out the calcium, I'm just gonna get a whole lot of tar that comes with it. All these organic molecules that might be dissolved in the acidic solution, which aren't stable in the basic solution. So along with the calcium, we're just gonna have a whole lot of tar. I don't want that. That'll be um, real messy. So I'm just gonna keep throwing away as much tar as we can at this step uh, while the calcium is still dissolved because we don't want it in the next step. So uh, more peroxide. Got peroxide to spare for some reason. It's just trying to go yellow. It's on the verge of going yellow. That's what it wants. That was a perfectly clean stir bar I put in there. Now it's all covered in filth. So hopefully we removed a lot of the acid and, you know, some of the tar. Maybe all of the tar. I'm sure I haven't removed all of the tar, but... On cooling down, we've got a whole lot of... I don't know, what's a good word for it? Scunge? Just a bit of shit coming out of solution. It won't be the calcium chloride, because calcium chloride is, is quite soluble. Look at my goddamn stir bar, that's disgusting. But yeah, we'll just do this a quick filter. Just further cleaning it up, and um, hopefully it might be okay for the precipitation step. Maybe. If we're, if we're lucky. Which I don't think we are, but... Okay, I'm officially willing to call this yellow now. Look at it. It might be more orange, but I'm gonna call this yellow. <laughs> so we need to increase the pH here. So we have some pH increaser, sodium carbonate, one kilo per kilo. So <laughs> that's good. Actually, I've got this old bag here, tiny little bit in there. And um, if we use all that up, I've got this spare kilo here. So we'll be adding this slowly because we don't want it to foam over and ruin everything. But we're hoping to see at some point a white precipitate of calcium carbonate come out of solution. And then I'll feel better about everything. now kind of like a liquid shit color so it's got that going for it unbridled joy unbridled unrivaled unbridled 
Unbridled. Is unbridled a word? have our beautiful uh, slightly off-white precipitate here which will be our calcium carbonate and what we're going to do is we're going to filter it through this um, fritted funnel here which we really shouldn't do because this is a quite um, basic solution quite quite alkaline and it sort of dissolves the very fine glass pores in the frit so you shouldn't do this if you have any respect for your glassware but I feel we're way beyond respect at this point I don't know how we started off at 200 mils and ended up at nearly 600 mils nearly overflowing the beaker just kept adding distilled water because uh, the sodium carbonate didn't dissolve it was probably because it was calcium carbonate like forming a shell around the particles of sodium carbonate adding in the dissolved sodium carbonate near the end is, is much better yeah and and some sodium hydroxide just to raise the ph quickly that's fine so we've done it now Ooh, it's quite hot actually maybe i'll let it cool down i've got a little bit of respect still for my Sinto. It's done a lot of hard work for me. I'll at least let it cool down first. Oh, sorry, Palm. Sorry. So we've got our very crude uh, calcium carbonate here. We did wash it through a couple of times with water and once with ethanol in, in a vague attempt to dry it. But there'll still be a lot of other ions other than calcium in here. But yeah, we've done it. We've done a lot of the hard work in selecting for the calcium over the rest of this solution here. It looks like a lot, but uh, these sort of clay <laughs> type products are often really deceiving. And if I dried it out, uh, would go down to I suppose a couple of grams and it would reduce a lot in volume once we removed all the water from here It's soaking wet, uh, which I was initially going to do but now I think about it so I'm not going to bother. The next step uh, is dissolving it back up again uh, in, in hydrochloric acid <laughs> I feel like it seems a bit redundant now we precipitate it out from the hydrochloric and now we're putting it back in. But now we've selected the calcium, we get to dissolve everything back up um, because we want the calcium chloride as the final product. And um, having calcium chloride lets us do one more uh, calcium selection step, purification sort of thing later on, uh, which we'll get to. For now, I want to re-put this all back into the solution, so I'm not going to dry it out now. Just going to add some hydrochloric slowly once again to not let it foam over. But we want to get all of this back into solution as calcium chloride. solution now is uh, very acidic so all the calcium carbonate should be re-dissolved into a form of calcium chloride which is very soluble so it will be in the in the solution here. I don't know why it's so turbid uh, but it gives us an excuse to do another filtration and maybe all this brown shit will um, come out in the filtration. Just another step towards some level of purity. Still far from it but it's it's another step towards it. Alright, filtration, uh, I suppose clean it up a little bit, but it's still filthy. What I'm planning to do now is uh, take off all the uh, liquid, all the water, uh, to get the dry crystals of calcium chloride. Calcium chloride is very soluble and won't crystallize out very nicely, but uh, if we just boil it to dryness, we're not going to decompose the calcium chloride at all. Hopefully we might decompose a lot of the organics in there. It's going to take a little while, but 
but um, we'll just keep going until we've got a solid crystalline mass at the bottom of the flask and hopefully not too much tar. All right, it's all uh, sludgy now. I'm still not convinced this is all calcium uh, and it's not just all fucking amines that I'm free basing and then dissolving the salt of and then fucking... I'm just, I've just been hurt so many times now that I refuse to believe things are actually working. Yeah. Yeah. Go, Sturbar, go. And look, it's all dried out, uh, and we're left with our pure white crystalline fucking calcium chloride. <laughs> it's so gross. Um, so, so, so calcium chloride um, dissolves in ethanol, which um, is a little little strange. I mean, it's just it's just got very high solubility in water, and 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 I don't know what that's got to do with anything anyway. Whatever it dissolves in ethanol, sodium chloride doesn't uh, really at all. If we extract this fucking shit with with um. <laughs> with ethanol we have a chance to pull out the calcium chloride and, and leave behind any sodium chloride well that's my feeling anyway because it's so brown i was thinking i've got some dichloromethane here that's very poorly labeled please label your chemicals better than this calcium chloride is not going to dissolve in dcm but potentially any organic contaminants will so we could just do a quick washing with dichloromethane see if we can strip some of that shit off it and just leave us with some beautiful crystalline powder which you know we we fucking deserve at this point I've decanted off this horrible yellow DCM. Is our product looking any better? No, not really. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the uh, the DCM evaporate off and then we'll uh, do the ethanol extraction. <laughs> I'm still in blind denial that maybe this will work, so. took a small amount of the ethanol off and uh, and boiled it dry just to see what was sort of in it. But have a look at this. Look at them crystals coming out. Look, sure, it's the colour of tar. But look, you've got to read between the tar. Look at those crystals. I think we're on track here. It's more tar than anticipated at every single step, but crystals. Hardening up. It's definitely some calcium chloride powder in there once I've driven all the water off and really heated it. But there must be a solvent that can dissolve up that tar and leave us with the calcium chloride. What about ethyl acetate? If ethyl acetate maybe can dissolve the organic stuff, leave the calcium chloride behind. What about acetone? Both of those solvents uh, don't dissolve calcium chloride. All of this here is very soluble in water, so I, I can't recrystallize this from water. It's got a solubility even at room temperature of like. 75 grams per 100 mils of water so and also all the tar dissolves in water anyway it's a uh, water soluble tar so i can't just use water to separate the compounds here all right so ethyl acetate first let's try that Alright, I mean, it's sort of taking some colour out, but is it getting any less brown? Maybe. Is it worth wasting all my solvents on this? I'm not convinced. Let's get this calcium chloride out of there. Uh, it's worth noting as well that um, there's still heaps of solid, lots of solid, that uh, didn't make it through the, um, the hot filtration. So there's obviously a heap of calcium chloride still in there that just didn't dissolve in the ethanol through that hot filtration. But uh, yeah, I'm just sacrificing yield here for, for purity. 
That's just because it's going to take ages to process all of this. So how do we go about proving that this is calcium chloride and not just some random shit that I've pulled from solution? Well, the first good sign is that it's hygroscopic. So uh, if we leave it out in the open, it pulls water from the air, it gets all clumpy, it gets a bit wet. We know it's got a very high melting point. So if we heat it up, we should see it not decompose and also not melt. It'll probably give off quite a bit of water and sort of like fuse together as we heat it up, but we, sh we shouldn't really see it melt. Finally, if we want to get a little bit fancy, I do have a spectrometer that should be able to resolve the calcium emission lines. So if we do um, heat some up in a flame, we should be able to see A, the color, um, but uh, more than just seeing it's an orange color, we should be able to see exactly those orange lines, which identify it as calcium. So if we get both of those things, we know definitely that there's at least some calcium in there from the atomic emission lines, and also that uh, there's not so much other shit in there that it's lowering the melting point by several hundred degrees. So um, if we hit both of those things, we can conclude that it's at least mostly calcium. I don't think that's unfair to say that. Alright, well I suppose I've got to wrap this project up. I suppose it was a success. We've got some terrible grade calcium chloride here, but you know, it is calcium extracted from bones. I can't seem to shake the feeling that the time I spent on this project, I could have spent doing literally anything else. Could have done anything else with my time, and I probably would have felt better about that use of time than this project. So, in a way, it's a sort of success. In another way, it's not really a success. <laughs> <laughs> success is it was there a better way i could have gone about this project probably in fact probably definitely i am keen to know how anyone else would have gone about this project i'm always interested in your comments not from a like a oh man he should have done this sort of way just a you know if you are tasked with this project how would have you gone about it i'll be honest the initial project was me getting pure calcium metal from the bones, reducing this calcium chloride down to calcium metal, which is why I wanted the calcium chloride and I didn't want to get something like calcium sulfate out. But I'm not going to do that. I mean, first of all, it's hard enough as it is from pure calcium chloride, let alone from this trash. And also, it's virtually Halloween. So, I'm out of time. Happy Halloween, everyone. Maybe we might make some calcium in the future, but I might do something a little easier, like making Cubane. <laughs> <laughs> for now rather than trying to make calcium because it sounds like a bit of a shit show and um i've had enough of shit shows for the moment see you in a in maybe a more chaotic maybe a more sane video i genuinely do not know <laughs> thanks guys just spilled like half of it on the grass, but don't tell anyone that.